Kuala Lumpur, home to numerous well-preserved historical buildings. Kuala Lumpur is known as a city that has a rich and diverse culture and heritage treasures. Located at Lot Tan Jalan Tangsi, there is one of the most well-kept heritage buildings that has had a long illustrious history that spans over a century. And it is known as Rumah Tangsi. So, uh, sedikit sebanyak history uh, sejarah about bangunan ini. So, bangunan ini telah mula dibina pada tahun 1993 oleh uh, very famous merchant called uh, Luke Chong Kit. After that, we come to the Kuala Peninsula Hotel sampai 1972. Rumah ini hasil usaha dari very prominent architect called A.R. Kim Kim Lu and Dato' Hisham Al-Bakri. A.R. Hisham Al-Bakri duduk bersama-sama mendapatkan bangunan ini untuk menjadikan PAM headquarters. Chokit's travel to Europe with Lok Yu in 1903, he got inspired by the European architecture. Hence, the Rumah Tangsi design was influenced by neoclassical and the Palladian styles, which later was integrated with Strait's eclectic style to adapt to the local climate and culture. A simpler variant of Roman Doric columns are seen at the main entrance adding both structural support and creating a distinctive architectural style. Another notable feature in the building design is the pediment, a triangular gable that forms the end of a pitched roof and is placed above the horizontal entablature. Different styles of windows and louvers such as triple arched architrave windows Decorative wall vents and Chinese louvers were used to provide natural lighting and ventilation, as well as to improve the aesthetic value of the building. Walking inside through the front door, a spacious area known as the entrance gallery hall is seen. With its high wooden ceiling mounted with fans and lighting, it creates a glorious and luxurious appearance, enhancing the beauty of the interior. The floor in the mansion halls is covered with different types of cement and caustic tiles in which they were designed using geometric patterns combined with multiple colors. Heading towards the middle part is the open-air courtyard which connects the indoor and outdoor areas. The corridor is supported by a colonnade with pairs of Tuscan columns which supports the floor above them. A low wall ran beneath and between the columns, with Chinese green glazed balusters in the structural elements that match those on the front facade. Continuous cornices is the upper molding of the entablature that rests above a series of the Tuscan columns. The open yards between both wings on the upper floor connect the main space to the pantry and the private area respectively. The exposed roof truss at the pantry used to be replaced with steel, however, due to corrosion, wooden trusses were used again. The staircase of the building is made out of timber and influenced by the Malay architecture. It is adorned with intricate carved ornamentation as well as the capital of Corinthian columns at the entrance gallery. And that is what makes Rumah Tangsi unique. What I can conclude from this project is, I think I've gained a lot of knowledge along the process such as realizing the importance of engaging with my team members and we also had the opportunity to explore the heritage buildings in Malaysia. We also learned a different method of recording our data as well as the technique to measure, draw and photography. Uh, after all, it was such a good experience.
Alright guys. <laughs>